All right, so we're starting off with the latest on the historic Axiom 4 mission spacecraft docking at the International Space Station. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft in the latest has docked on the Harmony port of the ISS. A historic moment. In fact, uh, the crew, including India Shubhanshu Shukla, uh, will be spending approximately two weeks on the ISS, conducting scientific research and STEM outreach activities. This is the latest coming in at this point. The Axiom 4 mission spacecraft docking at the International Space Station. This, of course, is a mission uh, which uh, also is a historic one for India with uh, the second Indian being sent off to space after 41 years. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. Dragon Grace and the Axiom Mission 4 crew have arrived to the International Space Station at 5.31 a.m. Central Time over the North Atlantic as the two orbiting around the Earth. Connecting with the uh, soft capture ring and now we'll begin the cr uh, ring retraction to bring the two vehicles closer together and then the 12 hooks, the two sets of six ring will drive to form a hard nut. And there you heard there the soft capture ring is retracting and then we'll do so until sensors are indicating it's time for those hooks to drive in place and give us a hard capture and firmly secure Dragon to station. And again, Axiom Mission 4 and its commander Peggy Whitson, pilot Shubhanshu Shukla of ISRO and mission specialist Swabosh Uznansky Vishnievsky and Tibor Kapu of ISA and HUNOR have arrived to the International Space Station with contact at 5.31 a.m. Central, 6.31 a.m. Eastern as the two were orbiting over the North Atlantic. The soft capture ring, that initial contact between Dragon Grace and the International Space Station continuing to retract. And we'll await for the calls that the sensors read that it will be time for those 12 hooks on the Dragon to then begin driving and connecting itself to form a hard meet to the International Space Station. All right, so there we have uh, the Axiom 4 mission 
uh, docking at the International Space Station, a, a very crucial milestone. Remember, this is a mission carrying uh, Shubhamshu Shukla, an Indian back in space after 41 years. Let's also go across to Siddharth MP, our correspondent who's been tracking those developments very closely. Siddharth, you know, for the viewers who are joining uh, at this point, uh, what we are seeing is a historic moment in itself, also given the significance that it carries for India. Indeed, uh, this is the end of a 28-hour long journey, a travel that began in uh, Florida of America's East Coast. And now finally the astronauts have reached their destination. But even though they have docked, it will take some time before they can exit their craft and enter the space station. Because at this point in time, the two crafts, that is, you can say that the vehicle has been parked. In simple language, the crew dragon, which carries the four astronauts, has been parked at the International Space Station. But parking is not everything. You need to get out of the vehicle. And before getting out of the vehicle, especially in space travel, there's several technical parameters that need to, uh, you know, be checked. One includes the pressure lock. One includes that, you know, the ambient conditions in the space station are also applicable within Crew Dragon. So basically, there has to be complete harmony between the two systems. So only after that is checked, will the astronauts literally float into the space station. So that is the next big sight that we have to wait uh, to see. Because, uh, you know, in the confines of the uh, Crew Dragon, the astronauts are in, within a limited space. But the space station is more like a five-bedroom uh, huge mansion, right? So once they enter the space station, all of them are going to be floating inside freely and they're going to exchange hugs with all the people who are staying aboard the space station. So that's going to be a moment of great camaraderie because let's remember that the space station is a multilateral institution and it is something where American astronauts are there. There's Russian cosmonauts. There's also <laughs> astronauts from Canada. There's also astronauts from Europe and Japan. So it's a it's a place where it's a melting pot of cultures away from Earth. And there's different astronauts from different countries who are there at different points in time. And now Shubhanshu Shukla will get a taste of that atmosphere, a get, a, get a taste of space and what's it, what it's like to work in that kind of environment. That's what makes this mission very unique, Molly. Indeed. And, uh, you know, the fact that uh, we're also talking about a mission that uh, will involve a series of experiments being conducted. So let's just also uh, apprise our viewers about what we do expect to unfold um, on board the ISS here onwards. So for India's group, Captain Shukla and the three others, it's going to be a two-week long mission aboard the space station. Typically, when astronauts, uh, that is the professional astronauts who go on, you know, very, uh, shall I say, long-term missions, they go for six-month long missions. But let's remember that this is more like a training mission because Shukla and his two other astronauts from Europe are all first-timers. So this is more like a training mission for them, which is why this is two weeks long. Otherwise, typically, astronauts go for at least six months, and that is the usual shift on board the space station. But in these two weeks, what they can do is they'll be conducting experiments. There'll be a total of six zero, 60 experiments that the crew will conduct, and these will span multiple domains. This will include, uh, you know, to check how uh, diabetes, whether diabetic patients can travel to space. Those who are uh, reliant on insulin, whether they can travel to space. There will also be uh, experiments to look at how, you know, certain bacteria or organisms will grow in space, plant growth in space. And there's going to be so many other experiments, including how, you know, interaction with displays in space. So there are going to be multiple uh, experiments conducted across disciplines. One other crucial one will be about muscle growth in space and sort of atrophying of muscles or weakening of muscles. Imagine when you're floating around uh, permanently in the microgravity of space, what happens is your muscles are not in use. On the uh, surface of the Earth, our muscles are used for all our day daily activities. But in space, when you're floating around, your muscles are in a state of disuse, which is why every day astronauts have to work out for at least two and a half to three hours to maintain their body and muscle density. If not, they become weak once they come back to Earth. So for that, is there something that can be done? Which is why they're also going to check how, you know, muscle growth is affected in space. This is obviously one of those long-term research projects that are undertaken. So there's going to be multiple projects that uh, Shukla and his team will undertake. Shukla, of course, seven experiments for India specifically. And these are all experiments uh, that will, you know, get you more perspectives and a better understanding of how a lot of things behave in space. Uh, let's remember that over the last two and a half decades, a lot of inventions on Earth were, you know, derived from our learnings, from humanity's learnings from the International Space Station, which is why that is a very, very crucial platform to conduct experiments, learn more, and then implement on Earth. Molly. 
Right. Uh, you did uh, briefly mention at the outset. Let's just uh, you know delve deeper into uh, the International Space Station's mechanism and functioning. Of course, it's uh, a space laboratory in a way and a research platform, uh, which, as you just mentioned, you know, uh, will be witnessing those experiments being conducted. But the very fact that we're seeing Shubhanshu Shukla on board the ISS now, of course, a huge moment for India. Uh, also, the second Indian, uh, you know, uh, after Rakesh Sharma, after a period of 41 years. Uh, but uh, the International Space Station in itself, and that Shubhanshu Shukla will be on board that platform, is a huge moment. Uh, let's just talk uh, more about what the platform really stands for, you know, uh, when it comes to conducting scientific experiments. And um, for those of our viewers who might not be aware about what the significance and importance of the ISS is. So to talk about the space station itself, it's almost a massive structure. It's the largest man-made structure in space. And it's also one of the most uh, impressive feats of engineering by humanity because the space station itself costs well over $100, $150 billion. So it's one of the most expensive projects undertaken by humanity anywhere. So that's what makes the space station significant. As far as the composition of the station goes, it's almost a football field size body a large part of which is solar panels. And of course, there are modules where people can live within. So obviously, there's the Russian module, there's the American module. And each of these are largely laboratory um oriented modules where, you know, there's a lot of computers, there's a lot of experiments on board. And obviously, there are also small areas where people can strap themselves onto a wall or onto a sort of structure and then go to sleep. So it's a place where, you know, you can completely live and work for six months at a time. And obviously, every now and then supplies are sent to the space station. Research, obviously, is the core purpose of the space station. Every now and then, uh, the most veteran astronauts aboard the space station also undertake what is known as a spacewalk, which means they exit the space station, they wear what is known as an EVA or extravehicular activity suit, they go out of the space station and also conduct repairs on board the space station, just like how vehicles need uh, constant servicing and repairs. The space yes. station also needs constant servicing and repairs. So the astronauts step out of the space station, they go out wearing their EVA suits and then conduct repairs. So there's a lot of functions that Dushmane go on within the space station. Yes. 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 Tom, uh, that is a pinnacle of international collaboration. The U.S. and Russia, even despite the geopolitics that is prevalent, remain committed to the space station. They work together. So, right. so does so Europe. That, so does uh, MP, getting us those updates, uh, sorry to interrupt you there. While we do keep a close eye on the latest coming in uh, from the International Space Station, uh, we'll of course keep coming back to you, uh, Siddharth MP, getting us those updates.